and expressed in covers a distance of 3,584 km in 2 days and 8 hours. If it covers 1,440 km on first day and 1,608 km on second day, by how much does the average speed of the train of the remaining part of the journey differ from that for the entire journey? So, we have to find out the average speed difference average speed difference for the entire part of the journey and the remaining part of the journey. Here average speed difference means average speed of the remaining part of the journey minus average speed of the entire journey. Here a train travels 3584 total distance. This is 3584 kilometer in 2 days and 8 hours. That is 48 plus 8 is equal to 56 hours. And first day it travels 1440 kilometer. Next day it travels 1608 kilometer. And remaining distance means 3584 minus 1400 plus 1600 is 3000 and 8 plus 40, 48. So 3048. So, this will 14 minus 8 is equal to 6, 58 minus 3 is equal to 4, 57 minus 4 is equal to 53. So, 536 kilometer is the remaining distance. So, remaining part of the journey travelled in 8 hours. This is in 24 hours. This is in 24 hours. So, the remaining part of the journey travelled in 8 hours. That means average speed of the remaining part of the journey is remaining part of the distance divided by time minus Average speed of the entire journey is 3584 divided by 56. Total distance divided by total time. Here 7 to 8 is equal to 56, 7, 5, 35, 7, 1, 7, 7, 2, 14. So 512 by 8. Here 536 minus 512 is equal to 24 divided by 8. So 3 kilometer per hour is the difference in average speed. So, option A. A is your answer. Here, option 1 is your answer.